Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all, and welcome to the most grind-tastic portion of Leisure Suit Larry, the uh, oh, SCI version. I still have yet to figure out if it's AGI or SCI. I always forget. Anyway, this being Las Vegas, we do need an ample supply of money to afford everything we need, and it's, it's you, you might as well just get it over with now, to be quite honest with you. Um, there are two ways we can do this. There are poker machines, or video poker, and, uh, no, video slots and video poker. Uh, you can do either one. You'd basically just save scum it all the way, but I'll show you both. Why not? All right, so we slip all of our money in there. I think the slot machines are your, your, the fastest way to just bet everything. So, this is bet the maximum, which is, that's everything, and just put everything on one. Oh, we got the the odds here. So cherry, 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 bell, 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 seven, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's pretty generous, I think. And it won't let you bet your last bottom dollar, it looks like. So you have 33, you can bet a maximum of 32. And we got bell, bell. Okay, yeah. So we did, we did all right. So we just like doubled our money. And then just put all that back in there. Rinse and repeat. There we go. So we just lost all our money. That's how that works. Okay. Oh, and it was blackjack, not uh, not poker like I thought. So same thing. Just bet all your money. Uh, hit me. Deal. There we go. And then, yeah, blackjack. So, bam. Don't expect to be that lucky every time. So let's go ahead and bet the maximum yet again. Deal. Wow. Um, can you split? I can split, but 20 is really good. So we'll just stand on that. Actually, I'm doing pretty good. Um, so usually what I'll do is you hit cash out. 161. Save. And then that's it. Then you just do that for a year. I think if you reach a certain amount without saves coming, you get some points for it. But we'll try it. There it is. Okay, so 10 grand. Is, I got an even 10 grand. Exactly. That's the house limit. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us, we'll mail you the rest. All right, doesn't sound like I got points for it, but hey, we have the max amount of money. That was not as annoying as I thought, though I think if you run completely out of money, I'm not sure if it's a game over or if you find like a dollar blowing in the street just to keep you going every time you bust. But uh, hey, it works for me. Oh, I love this. I love this little ele elevator up here. We'll ride that in a minute, the little helix elevator. But first, uh, for some reason, I remember something about this phone. Uh, you attempt to return the telephone to working order by prying the chewing gum out of the slot. You cannot. Okay, never mind. I thought you could find some change in it. What do we have here? I will guess we'll... I should have looked at it first. Uh, what? There it is. Ooh, the Lost Wages Disco. One, admit one member and guess. Every Monday is ladies' night. Let me guess. Today is Monday. Uh, let's see. Well, well, looks like this month's issue is filled with intelligent literary articles laden with redeeming social value. For example, here's an article about how professional window washers secure themselves to the side of tall buildings with a rope tied around their waist. Now he wants to read that crap. You rip through the pages so you discover, whoa, nice centipo this month. I got, oh, I got a point for that. Nice. I think that's actually a hint because you need a rope to climb a window at one point, but I forget where to get it. So until I remember, let's go visit the cabaret. Which is actually showing a full-fledged uh, French cabaret show. That's not the show I want to see. Come back in a second. And quick change. There he is. There's my comedian friend. My grandpa, the farmer, finally gets himself one of them latex ladies. I heard him singing about it the other day. Oh, the farmer and the doll. The farmer and the doll. What are you out there, painting? This is just so 90s. I think there's the one chair you can sit in right over here. Ah, uh, the whoopee cushion. A man walks into the doctor's office with a frog on his head. The doctor says, hey, may I help you? The frog says, yeah, Gab, could you get this water off my ass? <laughs> that was a Daffy Duck laugh. That is copyrighted. Michael is hitman for the mob. What a great job. He only goes to work when it's time to knock off. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's weird. All right, anyway, we're out of here. Bye, failed comic. Very Seinfeld. All right, we'll go up there in a minute. Can't go that way. All right, we've done pretty good. I think there is also a way to get mugged in this game. And I also think the taxi driver 
adjust his prices depending on how much money you actually have. Uh, he charged me $15 that obviously says 508. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of bias. I want to say the rope is around here, or maybe I like, I take the the pantyhose from upstairs. Uh, what's the password? Oh, I still gotta give him the password, even though he's he's transfixed on the TV. There you go. Come on in. I love the music here. Oh, uh, well, I was wrong, but however, we did uh, get the prophylactic um, that we have, so therefore, we can actually uh, we can get down to business. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. easy there, tiger. Wrap it up. Yeah, the Surgeon General is proud. And then, up! It's in every game, whenever he gets redressed, his jacket just flies back up to his shoulders, and that's adorable. And I got a point for that. Okay, that's the same thing. Good thing we're wearing a raincoat. Excellent. There's no point for it. I still have it. Oh, well, maybe I got like a pack of them, I guess. I, uh, I thought I got the rope from here, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, well, at least I know what I need. Anyway, so let's get off to the disco. That's our next stop. Oh, stop, pervert! Shouts the cop. I wonder who he's yelling at. Oh, what? Caught you, pervert! The cop shouts. We don't like people exposing themselves in this part of town, especially wearing one of those. What? What is that? Glancing down, you realize what he's talking about. Your face flushes. Oh. Oh, oh, you had, that's why I was still in my inventory. I literally had a used condom in my inventory. Fantastic. Well, let's do all that again. All right, well, I got all my money back. We got the car. We went to go see the comic, like, just like before. But instead of heading to Lefty's, because we have to go back there anyway, and so we'll do what we have to do later when we go back there. But for now, let's head on back to, what was it? The, uh, the disco. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. And there you go, my sir. Look, it's totally me. Look, it's got, I'm totally a, a black man with short hair. You whip out your borrowed membership card and lay it on him. Here you go, little buddy. I'll just go in now, okay? Good evening, sir. I'm so sorry I didn't even recognize you sooner. Please come right in. Damn. Beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, uh, I think there's a couple cameos in this room. Like, there's Al Lowe looking really surprised about something. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Does it actually recognize that it is Al Lowe indeed? Can I talk to him? Ah, Al Lowe is a stunningly handsome fellow. The receiving was a paid editorial message. Can I touch him? Trust me, don't touch me. Oh, oh, it's Al, oh, it's actually like Al Lowe's the narrator. You engage in a short but personally meaningful conversation with Al Lowe. And it's funny because it does that on anything you, you try to talk to. You have a meaningful conversation with Jaws, with, uh, with the lamp, with the coral, yeah. But his name is actually uh, Jaws, he has a name, that's adorable. Have you ever seen Roger in a chair high enough so his legs weren't scrambled? So I guess, I don't know who that Roger might be. Let's see if we can talk to him and get some more ideas. Roger Hardy. Hmm, name doesn't ring a bell. Kevin Ray, Barry Smith, Oliver Brelsford, uh, just Mike. Want to go somewhere after this, Bill? You ask William Skirvin, creator of all the wonderful graphics in this game. <sighs> Revise Bill from behind his shades. Bill is the master of the sitting nap. Well, there's only one available chair in the entire place, and it's opposite of uh, this only uh, saturated color type person who is not obviously part of the background. You smile at the girl and say, may I join you? And of, she, of course she replies, why am I coming apart? At least I didn't play the Daffy Duck line. Okay, great. Uh, this is not the most happening disco in the world. It's nice. It's got some nice ambiance, but uh, let's take a look at who this is. This is so 90s. And uh, there are some protrusions happening here. That's not family friendly at all. You screw up your courage and ask, what would you say to a spin around the dance floor with the nearest thing to John Travolta, baby? Well, okay, I guess, she replies, thinking to herself, near as I'm gonna get. Uh, you can do better than him. Whoa, all right. Seizure warning, by the way. All right, at least Larry's got some moves. 
by himself and also really good strength. At least he is in his element. He's in a disco and then he just sort of spazzes out and there she is. She looks like she's stuck in a walk cycle in a corner somewhere. I don't really think she's into it. I think she's trying to step on your foot or stub out a cigarette. What? Aren't you impressed? Are you not entertained? No, she does not care about my dancing prowess at all. All right, well, that was a waste of time, but I got a point for it. That's all that matters. Hi, baby. What say you and me get it on? Get lost, creep. Oh, there, she screwed up her face real good. But it does give you a hint. I think if you talk to her more, she'll give you more of the goods. What's your sign? Stop. Uh, my name is Larry. Say, Larry, she chuckles, glancing downward. Is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket, or are you just lonely? Oh, she thought that was hilarious. What's your name? Fun! Somehow you knew that. I did? Okay. I'd really like to get to know you better. Um, so, uh, what kind of girl are you, anyway? I'm just a girl who can't say no. Alright, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. Alright, that's all you get. All you know is that she likes presents. And then you just give her... But whatever she'll take. Like, here's a rose. Would you like, would you like a rose? Yes, oh, you're so sweet. I just love roses. Bam. Okay, give her that. Uh, chocolates, maybe. You want chocolates? Just love candy. Wonderful. That was capitalized for some reason. Love it. The ring I'll wait on. The apple I know there's a use for. Well, maybe she'll want the ring. You're so sweet. I love diamonds. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you. Larry, I want you to make one... Passionate love to me. All right, Larry, at last you're gonna get lucky. She continues, but first, we'll have to get married. I can never make love to a man unless he's my husband. If you would loan me $200, I'll rent the honeymoon suite at the casino hotel for us. Then, after we're married, we'll celebrate there. Wow, well, this is progressing very quickly. Well, here you go. Here, take all my money. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love money. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. You won't regret this. Maybe at the marriage chapel at the casino in a few minutes. I'll get us a room. Hurry, Larry. I can hardly wait. Well, that's great. I got to a disco. I gave her everything I had in my pockets, and she agreed to marry me. Woo! Off to the wedding chapel. I hear wedding bells in your future, if they even have bells. They're probably synthesized. Oh, I should probably freshen my breath before I, uh, you know, get married. There we go, Dink. Where to, buddy? Off to the wedding chapel, my good man. Good sport. Are you, would you like to be at the wedding party? For I am about to be wed. Oh, he's taking the bridge, not the tunnel. This is gonna take forever. Look at the fare. $8, $18. Look, it just like, rounds it up and then adds a one to the beginning of it. But I have no choice. I can't walk anywhere. All right, well, whatever. It's wedding time, baby. Your heart fills with eager anticipation as you see your lovely bride, Fawn, waiting for you at the end of the aisle. You've always been a sucker for beautiful weddings, and you feel sure that this will be the most special wedding of all. Dearly beloved, we are gathered today to in the sight of, of each other to enter these two people in the eternal bonds of marriage. Your 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 stance, your your that's really gonna hurt your back like that, uh, Fawn. Before we really get a rolling, may I say a few words? Many of the marriage I performed here in this little chapel are wearing this cheap suit before these shiny plastic covered pews and these electric candles looking at the genuine plexiglass stained glass windows for these measly few bucks. He pauses for another nip from his pocket flask. Where was I? Uh, the grassing. Oh, yeah, well, have you, have, you, have you got the ring? Yep. She's wearing it. Good enough for me. Have you got a hundred bucks? Uh, of course, you reply, forking over some of your hard one dough. Uh, let's see. Uh, where were we? Uh, I'm gonna skip some of this. Uh, well, uh, let's cut to the chase. I now pronounce you man and wife till death do you part until you get tired of each other per the currently acceptable social standards, which is 15 years ago. Well, I guess that hasn't really changed. 
Ding! There you go. Point. Marriage. You may kiss the bride. Oh boy. And with that, he disappears behind the altar to refill his flask. Not now, Mrs. Vaughn. That kissing stuff can wait. I've got much better things in mind for us, Larry. I have a feeling I'm being conned here. I'll go to our room right now and get everything ready for our big night, says Vaughn knowingly. You meet me at the hotel has... You meet me at the Casino Hotel's honeymoon suite as soon as you can, and then I'll give you much more than kisses to my passionate polyester peacock. <laughs> Sounds like a Batman insult. Hey, wait for me! Somehow, this entire ceremony was less than you expected. The sacred bonds of marriage certainly get tied loosely in this joint. She's like, kind of like, looking at the crowd on either side. Yes, 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 worship me. Yes, 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 yes. All right, fun. This true love. Can this be true love? Where'd she go? Oh, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought. Where'd she go? Um, now, this is where I usually take the cab back to the hotel, but then I realized the hotel is literally right here. All right, now we finally get to ride the elevator. We have a reason to ride the elevator. We have to go up and get the penthouse, uh, which I assume is... No, no, wait, wait, wait. It's, uh... Oh, it's on one of these floors. I forget. You pass by it. Oh, that's a third or fourth floor, I think. Which is really weird. Oh, God. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I remembered. There it is. The fourth floor. Boosh. You loudly rap your knuckles on the door. Vaughn's delicate voice booms across the hotel. Just a minute, Larry! There's a click as she unlocks the door, then a piercing, Come on in, the door's open! Suddenly you shout, Here I come, baby! Wow, this is really uh, special. Ooh, Larry, who's this Vaughn? I've been waiting patiently right here on the bed just for you. I was standing near it. Now I'm on it. There we go. Well, I guess the next move is mine, but I gotta take a look around this place. This is just remarkable. To you, it looks like dozens of spermatozoa attacking a Whitman sampler. <laughs> Alright, that's a good one. Isn't that cute? The honeymoon sweet bed is decorated like a giant box of candy, complete with a cute red ribbon. That is very Chekhovian right there. There's the ice bucket. Uh, the ice bucket waits inside the bed for the bottle of wine you didn't bring. Uh, I can't, I can't, they glued it to the table. Fantastic. Uh, I think I do need a bottle of wine. There's a lot of things I need before Fawn will even give me the time of day anymore. I think the least a gentleman would do to buy is to buy a lady a bottle of wine. Uh, great. Well, this is the day before cell phones and this, uh, hotel room does not actually have a phone. So I think the only way to find out what you need to do, I think you just listen to the radio and you hear a commercial for a wine delivery service. Okay, so I don't think it's the radio. I don't know where, I don't remember what that was, but I need wine in either case. And I guess I can go, maybe the convenience store has some. Okay, we got it it's locked, perfect. Um, let's visit the penthouse before I go anywhere, because I know there's something up there I need to do, but I forget what. It's been a while. Because Leisure Suit Larry is one of those games that has not aged well. Not not in terms of graphical fidelity, but just in, well, everything else. There we go, so I can talk to the guard. Hi. And that's an interesting uniform there. Okay. Nice contacts, by the way, and your hair is huge. Oh, yeah, this, this is where it gets creepy. You can, like, look at her lips. You can go down here and look at, uh, yeah, at everything. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I, I think you'd even look at her nose. No, nope, I was wrong. Well, whatever. Hi. Hiya, baby. I think I loves ya. My help in some way, sir, she responds in a pleasant but business-like voice. My name is Larry. Huh? <laughs> Larry Laffer? Say, Larry, is that a roll of dimes in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Hey, sweetheart, what's your sign? Exit. Try using it. Well, she didn't get mad at that. What's your name, beautiful? Faith, she replies. Hmm, unusual name. I'm only in town for one night. How about we get together when you get off duty? She smiles and said, Oh, I could never be unfaithful to my boyfriend. Uh, Larry, it seems like this one's going to require outside assistance. Ugh. <laughs> So when you talk to her enough, it basically just says, look, you're a man of the world. Perhaps some sort of medical stimulant would help. It's basically telling you to drug her in order to get her to sleep with you. Wow. Amazing. The 90s? Eh? 
Oh god, the elevator always makes me want to vomit just by watching it. Alright, we gotta figure out where to get some wine, but I don't think the convenience store has wine. There's not even a phone around here. The only phone is outside the the uh, uh the 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 convenience store though. Okay. Uh wine. Uh let's take a look around. Cause I think the only wine I could get was like the box wine. Is there fancy wine at all? Ah, all right. Turns out I was right the whole time. I just had to be a little bit more patient and wait for the commercial to come on. And the number I needed got skipped by my mouth tasting like the inside of a motorman's glove. There's a phone number I need to dial and it got skipped. I gotta go back and look at the footage. Hang on. Okay, well I got the number, so now I have to go all the way back. I've been all over creation looking for this stupid number. And... Uh, and it turns out it was at the beginning all the time. I, my hunch was absolutely right. So now I gotta spend more of my hard-earned money to go all the way down because there's no phone anywhere in the entirety of Lost Wages other than outside the goddamn convenience store. So back I go. Uh, well, as long as we're, uh, we're pretty much stuck in this loop for a while, I can kind of talk a little bit about what I remember about the Leisure Suit Larry series um, and what to expect out of the games that are coming. Because we're going to play all, uh, what, one, two, three, five, six, uh, six of them, I think. Uh, 20 bucks. Oh, go to hell. Uh, so Leisure Suit Larry 1 came out and that was great. Then Leisure Suit Larry 2 came along, which there was no remake for, though I hear that a remake might be in the works, uh, much akin to the reloaded version of uh, Leisure Suit Larry 1, which you can play. I think it's like super cheap on Steam. It's like five bucks. So go, go, go grab it. It's great. Uh, it's very much like Love for Sale, uh, which is Leisure Suit Larry 7. If you've never played that, play it. It's the best game in the series. It's actually one of the one of the best Sierra games. L later, later, uh, later era series. Anyway, so there's two, which is, in my mind, the hardest. And uh, I'll, I'll show you why when we get there. There's, then there's three, which I think is the most, has the most heart, I want to say. That actually has some heart. It's actually, it's not as ribald as this one. And then there's four, which was amazing. And then there's Leisure Suit Larry 5, which is probably my, uh, I want to say my least favorite. I, I can't really put my finger on it. I think it's more the art style than anything. And the story is a little bit convoluted, but it, it works. But you'll see when we get there. And then, of course, there's six, which is one of my favorite games in the world. And then seven, which beats that. So uh, that, that's what to expect. Anyway, so I got the number we have for wine delivery because that's the kind of classy town that Lost Wages is. There we go. Got it. And everyone takes forever to pick up in this town. Come on. Thank you. Hello, says a pleasant voice. Sierra Online. Just kidding. This is the number for the Sierra Helpline. <laughs> you can actually dial it. We're not open right now, but if you'd like to call during business hours and stop using this pretend telephone, we'd be happy to sell you a copy of one of Al Lowe's other fine games. At the same time, be sure to inquire about our full line of Leisure Suit Larry novelty items. Thank you for calling Sierra Online and for your purchase of Leisure Suit Larry, the land of the lounge lodgers. Goodbye. Such blatant commercialism turns you on. You make a mental note to purchase one of those great Allo games. <laughs> Love it. Okay, now to dial for the wine number. Really? Thank you. Hello, Ajax Liquor Store. We deliver. I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Hey, you go to the right guy. What do you want it delivered? I'm not sure what accent to pick for this guy. To the Casino Hotel's Honeymoon Suite and step on it. Okay, consider it done. I'll send one of my hottest young men. Hey, thanks for calling. And with that, he hangs up. Uh, oh, crap. What do you mean, hottest? Hmm, what kind of delivery service is this? I think there might be some sort of an escort service attached to this. I better get back to my room, but quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, my breath is awful, apparently. I better, yeah, before I consummate my newly minted marriage. There we go. Bianca, ahoy. Banaka. I keep sounding like Bianca. Or, I don't even know anymore. It starts with a B, alright? Fawn's sexy voice oozes through the door. Oh, baby, it's you. You're back. Then the click as she unlocks the door. Come in, you wonderful hunk. Can't wait. Here I come, baby. Oh, Larry, it's, it's you. I thought you were that cute young delivery boy again. 
Hmm, what does she mean by that? No, oh, wait, decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. All right, good. Now we have... Uh, oh, the wine's there. It's chilly. I prefer a red for wedding night. I mean, it really goes with the decor of the room, but whatever. Where am I getting wine glasses from? All right, I guess we'll figure it out. Maybe I just got them stashed in my leisure suit pocket somewhere. Yep. You carefully move the bottle from the ice bucket, unscrew the cap, classy, and pour the two glasses. She downs her glass immediately, and you refill it. And she does it again. Her eyes meet yours. You're sure luck is with you this time. Here's your grape juice. Wow, yeah, chug that wine. Yep, Cl mm, pure glass. Ooh, lie down, Larry. I have a special little surprise for you. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. She says, close your eyes. And because you're sure finally success is that I did everything in the wrong voice, it doesn't matter. Whoa! Hey, what are you doing with that ribbon? Oh, I see. We're gonna get kinky our first time. Whoa, 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 there's a fight broken out. There's a fight on the bed. A gigantic fight. Great. When Fawn has you securely tied to the bed, she leaps from the bed, and grabs your wallet, and says, You forgot to pay me for the wine. It came to $9,569, including the tip. That's all of my money. I have to do all that all again. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It makes you grind not once, but twice. Wait, Fawn, come back. This is our wedding night. So long, sucker. Oh, Fawn, they're back. This isn't funny. Uh, does it count if the guy consummates by himself? Larry, seems like the honeymoon's over. Great. Well, here I am, and here I'll stay. This is kind of a theme of the entire love relationship life of uh, Larry Laffer, which, by the way, I did find the full story for in the manual. The manual actually came with the GOG version of the game. So actually, I will be able to check that out next time, I think. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to wrap up the rest of this game. If not next part, then the part after that. It's fairly short. So I think we'll get. So we'll get Larry at Yeah, Larry. Larry, out of this predicament, what are these Duke boys going to get into next? And as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.